Hey everyone, this is Dr. Murphy bringing you another episode of Banff and Beyond as we continue our transplant series and dive into rejection. Here we have a biopsy of a 40-year-old female who came in for a one-year follow-up with increased creatinine. As you can see, we have a good sample, lots of cortex, and importantly, we see really no interstitial inflammation. Thus, even at this power, our concern for T-cell media rejection is very low. As we go to a more high-power view of the tubules on a PAS stain, Again, we can see, importantly, that there is no significant tubulitis and, again, no interstitial inflammation between the tubules. However, if we move to the glomeruli at high power on this stain, we can see in multiple capillary loops we have numerous mononuclear cells with associated endothelial swelling and occlusion of the loop consistent with glomerulitis. As we continue to evaluate the glomeruli, we have moved to our Jones silver stain, and we can see that not only do we have glomerulitis, but additionally, we have multiple double contour formation consistent with chronic antibody mediated rejection. As we move away from the glomeruli and look between the tubules, our peritubular capillaries, we can see that we have one, two, three mononuclear cells consistent with mild peritubular capillaritis. And as we move to our C4D immunofluorescence stain, we can see we have numerous, greater than 50% staining of our peritubular capillaries, the little donuts as well as good positive internal control within the glomerulus consistent with a positive C4D stain, in keeping with antibody mediated rejection. So in conclusion, taking all of our findings of glomerulitis, peritubular capillaritis, and positive C4D staining, along with double contour formation, the biopsy features are compatible with chronic active antibody mediated rejection. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time.